Hi everyone, this is Rita Holmes, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up! from Ohio. And I am here that I am going to show you a quick, easy pocket fun fold card. It is just really super simple. I'm pulling up my, on my iPad to make sure I stay in focus for you guys. Okay. But I just want to tell you that um, I'm using the Peachy Stamp Set, but before I get started... I would like for you to hit the share button, if you would, on um, your computer or your iPad. And also, if you wouldn't mind to leave a comment or give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you feel is appropriate for this video. Um, we are having a special, if you sign up, if you do not have a demonstrator and you'd love to get the discount with Stampin' Up!, you can sign up. And I would love to help you with that. Um, the deal right now is they have um, for $99 you can get $155 worth of product which is a great great deal so um, anyway I wanted to tell you about that and um, I want to show you I um, actually did three cards this is my pocket card um, I also wanted to tell you before I do that though here's my PDF which has the pictures of the card and all of the supplies and the directions to do it, which is over on my Facebook group, which is Stamp Crazy VIP, where I do videos every Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock. But after I do that video, I put the PDF of whatever I did the video of. I write up a PDF, and they're free. And you can get those on my Facebook group. You, they're in the file section, and it has every one I've done. There's probably 60-some. PDFs there that you can go through their techniques or fun folds So you are more than welcome to go there if you would like to get a hold of me You can go to my website Which is readaholmes.stampinup.net or you can email me at readaholmes0611 at gmail.com All the information is right here if you want to screenshot it That would be great. We're going to continue on with our card today It is um done with the peach paper which is new in our new catalog that just started the 1st of May and it um, has stamps and die cuts and paper I'll show that to you after I show you this card but here's the card and I've used the dies and the stamps and then I'm going to show you how to do this peach because that's a solid stamp to get it to kind of look peachy sounds kind of cheesy to say it like that but that's the way it goes so anyway I'm going to show you some different things with this card I'm going to show you the product first that we're using and then I'll show you a couple samples and then we'll make the card the stamp set we are using is called sweet as a peach I will be using these three peaches there are one stamp this set of leaves which is one stamp the have a peachy day and then this big peach and the leaf and that's what I'm going to be using out of the set today I'm not going to use any other stamp set but this one which I also will be using the dies which will be using this die here and the three dies right here which is the peaches we're going to be using those today so I'm going to show you how to do that and how to color which I'll be coloring them a little bit different than this this when I colored these, I didn't like how light they were, so I did a different technique, which is what I'm going to show you today. I'm also going to show you the paper, which is called Your a Pe Your Peach Designer Series Paper. So it's our we call it DSP as demonstrators. That's our short word for it. But here. This is what we're going to be using today, which is this one, and that's the back side. Then there's this, which is just a polka dot with peaches on the front. There's a blue stripe, because they do use balmy blue, which is in this one right here. You'll see the little balmy blue flowers and stuff. So that's with balmy blue, and that is just the um, little peach flower. There is, that's Calypso Coral striped with some blue flowers. There's some little peaches 
and that is this peach design. You'll see that on another card that I did. Here's some balmy blue polka dots with the peaches on a blue background, which is another card that I did that I'm going to show you real quick. But that is the designer series paper. And they are in the new catalog, which this is our new catalog if you haven't seen it. If you don't have one and would like one, just let me know. If you do not have a demonstrator, I'd be happy to send it to you. So let's go. I'm going to show you right here. You can get this as a suite, and a suite has a lot of product in it, and it's $57.25. You get the peach bundle, which is the peach, the stamp set, and the die cut. So you get the bundle. You get a pack of the 12 by 12 designer series paper I just showed you. And then you get these little mini jam jars, which are really cute. You can put candy in them. You can, like if you do make any kind of jams, you can put in them. They just won't store real long. They have to be given away to, for somebody to use um, because they're plastic. Um, so, but they're really, really cute, and they show a couple ideas on the page here, and then here's some samples, and that is, that's fifty-seven twenty-five for the, the bundle, you, or for the suite, for the bundle, it's thirty-six seventy-five where you just get the stamp set and the dies, or the stamp set alone is $18, and the, um, I don't know what the dies are alone, let's go see, only take us a minute, and then we're going to make our card. I love to show our Stampin' Up stuff. So, um, the peach dies are $23. Okay? So, but this is our new catalog. And I had mine spiral bound. It does not come like this. Um, it's just the regular catalog. But, um, I would be more than happy to get a catalog to you if you haven't seen one and do not have a demonstrator. And I'd also, if you would like to order something and you don't have one, you can always go to my website, readaholmes.stampinup.net, and that's where you order. If you order, please use my hostess code right here. Unless it's over $150, do not use my hostess code so you can get the stamping rewards. All right, here's my other cards. I told you I was going to show you with, with the blue. And that's the peach paper, and then I put the big peach here on the outside, and I stamp year as, because that comes in there die and the stamp set and this little um, kind of banner like things comes in the die cut. I put your ass sweet as a peach and then I did the peach on the inside also. And if you notice you can see these cards they'll stick out that way you, but it gives you a lot of wiggle room to put it in there and once you've got it in there it stays. This one I glued down with just a tiny, thin layer of glue on each side, not the bottom. So I had to take and cut my paper down to fit in there because with that glued, it doesn't give it much room and it's a little harder to get it in there. And I have went in there and stretched it out some, but it does go. So I prefer not doing the, the sides. But let me show you this one for It just says, Happy Birthday with the Peach. It says, Have a Peachy Day. Happy Birthday. And this is one of the other papers. And what I did is just turn, this is the back side of each one of them. I didn't, I used just one type of paper on each one as a designer series. And since I put my sentiment inside this one, and you can see how hard it is sometimes to get in there, I just put a piece of the DSP up here to kind of leave it not so white. But we're going to do this card, so let's get started, okay? We are going to take a piece of Calypso Coral cardstock, cut four and a quarter by eleven, scored at one and a quarter and five and a half. So we're just going to fold that up like a card, and we're going to um, score that fold, and then we're going to bring the scored piece here and lay it down and then we're going to score that or we're going to yeah score it down there we go so that's this is basically 
all our card is for a fun fold. And now we're going to make it. It's, we're going to make it as a pocket, and our insert will go here. So before we do anything, we're going to get that ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my DSP, which is just a four by four piece. And I'm going to use the flowered side. So we're going to turn that over. And we're going to use our glue. Or you can use any kind of, your favorite kind of adhesive. I tend to always go for the Tombow glue with a green cap. And then I'm just going to put this right here on my card. Try to get that kind of straight. Which I don't have a good straight eye, which is bad when you're doing cards. Then we're going to do on the underside of this flap, we're just going to put some glue here. And we're going to, to put that down. You don't have to worry about coming all the way out to the edges with this. Okay, we've got that down. So now I'm going to take my other piece, which is one by four, which is the back side of this, and I'm just going to glue it right here on that little folded down flap. This is a good way to use up some of your DSP also. Your old D DSP that, or any printed papers that you have, no matter what company they come from. Whoa, did you see my finger move that? That wasn't good, was it? Better get that down better before I do that. There we go. Now, which gives me some little bit of glue over here. That's really not going to matter in the big scheme of things here in a second. So now what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to add my ribbon, even though I have to stamp this, I'm going to add my piece for my ribbon. And here's what you do to keep this good and closed. You can use tear and tape. Now this is the Flirty Flamingo Glitter Ribbon, which is a little bit thin. And I have some tear and tape that I've had, um, Stampin' Up! used to sell it in this eighth inch, which I really like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this eighth inch and I'm going to start it about an inch, inch and a quarter away from the edge. And I'm going to lay that down straight. I'm going to bring it around to the back and just follow that around. And then I'm going to flip it back up. Might be easier to flip that way. And I'm going to bring that piece in, but I'm not going to take it all the way. I left a little opening right here. And what I'm going to do with that little opening is that where is where the stem of my leaves are going to go. Okay, can you see that little opening right here? Just doesn't have anything in it. That way the um, leaves will lay down in there and not be up over the ribbon because we're going to glue those flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper off. Now when you take the paper off the tear and tape, you don't want to lay it down here because it's going to stick. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that for a minute and get my ribbon ready and I'm going to lay my ribbon right here. Now you could take and lay this on a silicone mat. I'm not saying you can't lay it down. I'm just saying don't lay it on paper. You'll make a mess. And just follow your tear and tape all the way around and come around to the front. Now I can lay it down. I can take my scissors and I can clip that. And I leave that little opening there. Okay, I will make a bow with this a little bit later that's going to go on top of everything. Now we're ready to stamp. So what we have here, we have a five and a quarter by four inch piece of pear pizzazz, which will be our mat for the back of that. I got a five and a quarter by four piece, which is going to be the inside of that. And I have a scrap piece right here that I'm going to stamp these two things and we're going to die cut. Okay, so let's stamp first and then we'll do the die cutting and get everything else ready. Okay, so I'm going to bring my leaves in and I'm just going to ink them up. Just 
just want to make sure they're ink good and I'm going to lay them down here and make sure that they're inked really good and there's my leaves okay so we've got our leaves done now we're going to take our peach our three peaches and this is a little process we're going to use three different inks I used pear pizzazz here the ink for my leaves now we're going to be using petal pink pale papaya and coastal cabana so let's open up the stamp pads and I've got them backwards in the order that I'm going to go I'm going to go the pale pink first and I'm just going to ink up my stamp I just want it inked up okay now I'm going to go to my pale papaya and I'm just going to set it down in spots I'm not going to try to ink all that up okay then I'm going to come into my Coastal Cabana and I'm going to roll that okay now what I'm going to do you can do this a couple different ways I've done it with my finger just kind of you know make that softer looking like so you can do that make sure you wipe your finger off on a scrap piece of paper or you can come in with a sponge dauber now I'm going to come back in with this pale pink and make sure I've got some little spots because that's not going to hurt okay so let's stamp these and see what we get and there we go so you're going to see that they're going to have some highlighted area this one's kind of light right here I want to add some more of this and so I can just bring my sponge dauber in there and kind of dab it and that works real well too okay so let's put these away so I don't get my fingers in them and let's get the little mini cut and stamp cut and emboss machine out I can't even talk so let's get that out and cut these out these dies are very easy to use start to say what did I do with my plates but they're right here so what I'm going to do so I'm going to set this right here which just barely fits I didn't think about that I'm going to take my two dies that we're using one is the leaves and that's going to fit right over these leaves and they're really easy to line up so you don't have to worry about them too much the only thing you have to worry about is your finger dragging it off when you get it lined up and then I'm going to take the peaches and it goes like that and the reason how you can tell is this little peach has a point to it this one right here and this die has a point to it and that goes to that peach so you can just it's easy to tell on that and you just line those up there we go I think we got it so let's get our plate over top of it and when I put my plate on I always take my finger and hold until I get it going and you'll see it come out the other side my squeaky little thing here so we're done with this we're done with that we're done with these trying to put things away as I go just because I'm going to be doing another video here in a minute for my class to go so I've got it ready to do so I'm going to do a live video over on my Facebook page at 2 30 what time is it oh I got plenty of time so well let's lift that up and there's our dice okay so let's pull them off get this nasty plate out of the way I do a lot of die cutting so now let's bring this part of our card back in 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of glue. This is going to be glued flat. And I'm going to have that stick right up where that ribbon does not meet. So let's add some dots of glue. We don't need much. We do want to get some up in that where that's going to hold though. And then I just put like a dot here and there. I just dot it. And then I just pretty much let it fall where it wants to fall. There we go. So on our three peaches, we are going to just turn them over. And we are going to take a dimensional. And we're going to put just one on the center of the back of each one of those. The regular dimensionals fit all three of them. So you can just do that. And you'll see on here, like there's little stems right in here. And that's where your peaches are going to go, okay? The biggest peach, we have a peach that'll go here, a peach here. Where that stem is and then we're going to have a peach right here so let's peel these backings off and put our peaches on i love this peach set do you guys like the peach set i love it um and i usually don't buy a lot of fruit stamps because that's not really been a big thing of mine, but I got the strawberry one and loved it. And then I saw this peach one come out and I thought that is so cute. And the sayings are so sweet. So I want to show you the difference between these two peaches right here. Look at the difference. These look more, so much more like a peach, I think, than these light ones do. And how I did that one, I took a block and I put down the... Um, petal pink and then I took the pale papaya and just hit around it and then I did that with the um, um, coast or Calypso coral but when I stamped them they stamped really really light and I actually even took a little blender pen in the ink with the um, Calypso coral and added some in it that just stayed really 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 light and um, I just wasn't real sure that that's what I liked with the peaches. I liked them to look a little bit more peachy, like when I go down to South Carolina and buy peaches in September. I go to the Myrtle Beach area every September, and we always buy peaches. So I like them to look very peachy. So let's make our bow for this, and then we're going to finish the little inside of the card. So I'm just going to make a small bow. This ribbon is really um i don't want to say flimsy but it it just flows real easy it's not stiff so i'm going to make my bow and i just make a loop and then i put this around my thumb and to have both of my tails coming out the same end i take and make a loop up here and hold that with my thumb underneath there and pull my loop over I've made bows like that for so long that I've tried doing them different ways and I just can't do it. This is how I've always made bows for cards. So this is my way. And I just pull my loops down and get that tight enough the way I want it. And see exactly what I want for my little bow. Yeah, that's good. So now I'm going to cut my tails. And hopefully not cut my hand. And then what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use glue on that. I'm going to use some um, um, glue dots. And I'm going to take, and I'm going to adhere my glue dots straight down onto my card piece. So I'm going to take one and stick it right here in the center. 
and then I'm going to take and stick one on each side of it onto the ribbon and that way I know that my bow will stay down really well. See if you can get your glue dot to come off, that is. That glue dot is like stretchy. There we go. So we have our glue dots. We're going to take our ribbon and we're just going to stick that right over all of that and press down. And there we have the front of our card done. Okay? So now let's do the inside. We're going to take, let's take the, this out so you can see it. We're going to stamp, have a peachy day at the top with the Calypso Coral. So we're going to leave that open. And we're going to try to get that as straight as we can. And you know, you heard me say I'm not a very straight person, so you get everything crooked half the time. But that's okay. People get a card from me, they just, I tell them, just cock your head a little bit. It might be crooked. It's the best I can do. Let's take our big peach now, and we are going to go ahead and do the same thing that we did before. We're going to have our pale pa papaya, our calypso coral, and our petal pink. Bigger stamp, easier to do. We're going to stamp that into the petal pink really good. Then I'm going to take it over here and I'm going to hit some of this pale papaya. Okay? Then I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to roll that peach. And right here where it's kind of bubbly, I'm just going to take my finger and kind of smooth that out. Just give it a soft edge. Wipe my finger off on a scrap piece of paper. And then I hope you can see this. Let's move those up. And I'm going to stamp my peach down here in the corner. Now when that dries, it won't have all those little dots in it. And it'll have all that shading in there. And there again, if you want to come in with some Blushing Bride here, you can add some. And just get that a little more shaded if you want. Okay, we're done with these. Now we're going to do our leaves. And I'll show you how to do those leaves. Because it has your little stem on it. And so let's do that. And we're going to use pear pizzazz on that. So here's our leaves. And I'm going to ink them up. I'm going to take my finger, and on this stamp, I'm just going to wipe that off a little bit. And I'm going to take my soft suede stamp and write marker, and I'm going to color that. I'm going to color these stems. You can just use the side of your marker. Works easier. And then I'm going to place that stem right in the center of that peach and stamp the leaves. And there we have a peach. The big peach is really, really easier to do. And if you want to practice with coloring, I do the big peach first and then go to your small peach. Okay? Now, all we have to do is take this piece right here. And we're going to turn it over and we're going to put some glue on it. And we're going to add it to the front here of this piece of pear pizzazz. So there's the inside of our card. So what we will do with that now is we just take it and we stick it into the pocket straight. Oops, there goes my little thing rolling. And that's the end of our card, ladies, or gentlemen, if you're here, whoever is watching. 
So there they, you go, and you see the difference in the um, peaches right here. I can really tell a big difference in the peaches. I hope you can too on the um, video. Let me find the other two cards. Here they are. I have a mess on my table. And so here are the other two cards that I did also. With the same fun fold, same stamp set, and here I used the circle dies. I did do that to put this on. I've used twine. Um, I used the evening evergreen paper on the back of here and the ribbon, which it doesn't call for in the paper as far as naming all the colors it goes with. But I thought it really blended really well with it. So use that. And then um, these are both done with your Calypso Coral color and your pear pizzazz. This has the balmy blue on it. This again has pear pizzazz and this is petal pink. Your petal pink ribbon. So I used different kinds of ribbons to show you. Tried to use different um, dies, different stamps from the stamp set. It's great. It's a fun set and there it is again. So we basically use this, this, these two and have a peachy day and then this one you know it's got sweet as a peach and then it's it says your as and that uses those little sayings in there fit in this little die right here but you have a regular stem here you have extra leaves you have little flowers you have the big flowers that you could put in place you could do these same leaves and put these three flowers in there instead of peaches Here's your big peach and the leaf if you want to, like I did here, cutting them out. I used these two here. So this, you know, there's a lot of use out of the set. There's a lot of use with the peaches. And you have sweet as a peach, have a peachy day, happy birthday, thanks for my, thanks so much. And then, you know, you could put happy birthday to a sweet friend. Um, and I did your as sweet as a peach. It's your day. Let's celebrate. Hello, friend. Thanks for being as sweet as a peach. You could do. Hope your day is as sweet as a peach. So that's what these are, are, are to be used for. So that's what you have here. And you do have your little bitty leaves. And f So sorry if that caused an interruption. I do like the stamp set that it has the pictures here. You can take it off of that piece of... Um, plastic and just stick them right to your case and I think that works really really well so that I like that about these new cases and what has come in so there you go that is all I have for you today I hope you have a great day and we will see you soon